By the time you see this video, you will have already witnessed AI and you are probably already working with it. And believe it or not, most of us have already been dealing with AI and working with AI even without even knowing. So some of those things could be Siri, some of those things could be in your Gmail inbox when they finish your sentence. And there's lots of different things that we've already been using AI for. So it is something that's slowly been integrated into our lives, whether we've wanted it to be or not. So today I wanna to talk to you about some AI tools that can really help transform your business and your nonprofit and just help take your nonprofit to the next level. Um, if you're a social entrepreneur like me and you know that you know, you're know you putting on all these different hats, anything that can really minimize or take away that extra task allows you to really focus on your mission and building your nonprofit. So in today's video, I've got five AI or artificial intelligence tools that I think are going to be super helpful for your business. Some of them you may already be using and some of them might be you do too. So let's jump right in. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashley Tate and I'm a business consultant and been a nonprofit founder for the last 10 years. So on this channel, I like to talk about the social side of business, focusing on profit, purpose, and productivity so that you can get out there and unleash your something amazing and design a life and business on purpose. So. In today's video, we're gonna talk about those five artificial intelligence tools that are gonna really transform your business and something that every nonprofit really should have in their business um, and should be using just to maximize your time and your productivity because we have way too many hats that we wear. So one of the last things you wanna do as a crucial mistake <laughs> is send out newsletters, emails, all of those things. You don't wanna send those out with grammatical mistakes. So the first one I have for you is Grammarly. Now Grammarly is a great tool to have on your, um, basically on your entire computer and you can do that through a Chrome extension. It's a free program that you can use or you can have a paid program and it has a few more bells and whistles. But basically it's a free program that allows you to really check all of your spelling and all of your grammar and the grammatical errors that are there that you may not see or notice because when you're writing grants, when you are um, sending out emails to sponsors or donors or newsletters, um, you wanna make sure that you come off professional and you wanna make sure that all of your information has been double checked and edited and it looks good and that's what Grammarly does. So Grammarly is definitely one of the tools that I use in my business all the time. Um, it helps me in my emails, it helps me in my, again, my newsletters, all of the things that I send out, all of the communications or written communications that I send out. And you have to admit, like, I mean, sometimes we're a little bit, you know, we can get a little lazy sometimes, just because um, we have such an ability to quickly write things. You know, we're using text, we're using captions on social media, and we have a lot of slang that we use. And so sometimes you have to just have a professionally well-written email that you send out or sponsorship form that you're gonna send out. And so this is one of those things that is perfect for you. So on that Chrome extension, anything that you write, whether it's in Google Docs or it's in an email or if it's in, um, yeah, if it's any sort of written communication on your computer, it will automatically check that for you. And then it will highlight like, hey, this doesn't sound right or this doesn't look good. Um, so this is one AI tool that's pretty basic, but super helpful and will save you a lot of heartache in the, in the long run when people are looking at your sponsorship letters or they're looking at your uh, proposals or you're sending out a board email. Um, you don't wanna have mistakes in those things. So that is my number one. Grammarly. All right, so number two is one I'm sure you've already heard of. It's ChatGPT, and today I wanna to talk to you about how to use ChatGPT inside of your nonprofit and how it can really help you explain your story and share your message and really get your information out to your donors, your sponsors, the people that you are helping, um, anyone that wants to support your mission. Um, one of the things that's most important is really sharing your story. And in order to share your story, it's good to have facts that can really support what it is that you're doing. So as far as ChatGPT goes, this is a great tool to look up different um, statistics that you might wanna know, 
and I would double check because ChatGPT has been wrong. Um, so it's good to double check that and just verify, you know, with some other sources. But what ChatGPT can do is it can take all of those statistics and it can synthesize that in a way that is digestible for your audience to really understand what it is that you're trying to accomplish with your mission and why there's such a need and such a problem with your mission, I mean, sorry, with your uh, with the problem that your mission can overcome and how it can do that. And then you're showing along the way your journey and your story and you're teaching people how they can get involved and what they can do to make things better as well. And so ChatGBT is a great way to um, get some good ideas for blog posts. If you need to say something a little bit different or you need to, um, you know, expand on a piece of information or on a statistic or it's just, it's like our old encyclopedias, but at the tip of your fingers. And it really truly is amazing. If there's something that you put in there and it doesn't quite give you the answer you wanted or you wanna go a little deeper, you just talk to it as if it's a prompt. Um, you give it a prompt and you just talk to it normally as you would um, if you were searching but now it's gonna give you more information. It's like taking everything that's on Google, synthesizing it for you and giving it to you in a nice little pretty package in the way that you want it. So ChatGPT is, um, is, is something that is just, it's pretty outstanding really. I mean, like there's no other word really to use on ChatGPT. So try to start using it in your business. It's completely free. Um, all you have to do is sign up for, um, it, I mean, signing up means like your Google email and your name, I think, and that's it. It's really not a lot to get started. So um, I would go and explore that and see how it can work for you. Start by just looking up statistics that support your mission and support um, the reason behind having, a, having your business or supporting the problem that you're trying to solve, any of those types of things. Um, if you have a message that you're trying to create, this is a great place to really get some of that background information to work off of and then go from there. So try ChatGPT. It's an amazing, amazing product. Um, it is definitely going to revolutionize the way that we um, digest content, the way that we create content, the way that um, that we research. It's, it's going to revolutionize everything. So it's a great tool to use. Um, and it's probably one of the newest tools. Um, so get in on it early, start using it, start looking at how you can use it in your business and how you can make it work for you to, um, you know, maximize your productivity. So that is one that I definitely use in both of my businesses and my nonprofit and in my for-profit business. So it's super helpful. Um, it can help you if you're brainstorming. It's like having a brainstorming buddy. That's how I really think of it. Uh, and then you go and you create the information and you do it with your flair, your personality, your mission, all of the things that make you who you are with the help of an AI tool. All right, so now that you've got ChatGPT, you've got Grammarly, you know what you're gonna write, you know, you know, how it's gonna come out, you know that it's gonna have good grammar and all of that because now you have two AI tools that are helping you. But let's say that maybe you're not the best at writing a blog post or you can't come up with a social caption that you need for something today. Um, a great tool for this is Jasper. Now, this tool is not free. This tool is $24 per month at the time of this recording. Um, and it is a wonderful tool because one of the things I love about Jasper is it has a tool called the content improver. And as long as you write your piece the way that you would naturally speak, then what it does is it can take that and improve it to make it sound better. And basically it's your editor. And I love that you can have an editor instead of you going back and having to edit. Cause sometimes when you create things, even YouTube videos, when you create things, you don't want to go back and always watch yourself or read what you wrote um, because you know what you're trying to say and it can be frustrating sometimes in the editing process to distill some of those things and realize what you need to take out or what needs to be added. And with Jasper, what it allows you to do is it'll give you, you can put it in topics that you wanna talk about and it can come up with a blog post for you. Say you're in a pinch and you need to talk about something specific, 
but maybe you don't have all of the information yet, Jasper can help you do that. Um, and this is why at the beginning of this video, I talked about the types of things that might start coming out with the help of AI, if people aren't writing and adding in their own personal storytelling, their own mission, their own personality, it's all gonna start to sound the same. So really it's important to add in those little pieces of your story that really help relate the information back to your mission, your business, and why you're actually doing what you're doing. So um, keep in mind that these tools are amazing, but they cannot replace you and they cannot replace your personality and the special way that you say things. So use these as a way to supplement you and help you be more productive, like to get things out. And I love using Jasper for that reason because I'm, I don't consider myself the best writer, but I do have a lot of information to share. So what I like to do is I like to write it up and just write out everything I wanna say. And then I pop it into the content improver or into the blog post and I let it kind of go in there and edit what I've said, remove some things, move things around, make sentences down, sound better, structure it, uh, make it sound friendly, make it sound professional. And whatever you're going for, Jasper can do that. And what it does is it will give you a few different outputs um, so that you can actually decide which one you want to go with. Then you can take that out and sometimes I'll take that out and I'll re-edit it in a way that sounds more like myself. Um, add in a few little things here and there that make it sound like Ashley and then I will put it up there. But it does significantly reduce the amount of time you are going to spend making blog posts, making social captions, um, doing all of the things. and. Honestly, I think sometimes when you're in a pinch, it's a fantastic um, tool to use. But I think for the most part, what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you that you actually have a lot to say and it doesn't need a lot of editing, but if your editing can go that much faster than you having to spend you know, two or three hours on it, then it's worth it, in my opinion. So Jasper is a great tool if you are a content creator, and you want to start getting things out on your blog or you want to start getting things out from your podcast or you take a transcription and you need it to be distilled, um, ChatGPT will do those as well. So if you need a free tool, you can also tell ChatGPT to rewrite this in a friendly um, tone and it does that, but I would reread it to make sure everything sounds good. Uh, but yes, for number three, Jasper is the tool that I'm gonna recommend. Okay, our next free tool is number four, and that's Google Analytics. Now, most of you, if you have been through my program, you definitely have Google Analytics on your website um, because what that allows you to do is really see what people are looking at, where they're stopping. Um, it allows you to see how long people are on your website and now with Google Analytics adding in AI and really being able to give you some outputs, what Google Analytics can do for you is it can synthesize all that information and really tell you exactly what's going on with your website. People are really enjoying this. People are really um, focusing on the nonprofit side of your content or um, they enjoy these five pieces of content and they all have these same things involved. So there's a lot of information that you can get from the types of customers that are coming to your website to how long they're staying on your website, um, the things that they're clicking on, um, uh, what they're ignoring. There's lots of information that you can get. So it's basically all analytics, but it's being synthesized for you in a way to understand um, how your website is for your customer, which is important to know. So Google Analytics is my fourth AI tool that nonprofit founders should be using in their business. Okay, now this one is my favorite. This one is my favorite. If you are a YouTube creator or you're someone who makes any sort of content really that has anything to do with video, then you need to have Opus Clip. Now, I was recommended to use this from a um, customer of mine, and I was so happy when he introduced it to me because literally changing my life, okay? What it does is you take a YouTube video or a video that you've created, and you add the link into this free platform, and it is completely free, um, which is amazing to me. It really blows my mind that this is free. But anyway, 
you take your video, you add the link into it, and in about 10 minutes, it'll give you maybe 11 or 12 clips of your video um, with captions and a little flair. And I think it might even have, I don't think it has music behind it, but if you have music in your video, then it has a little music behind it. But I'm telling you right now, Opus Clip is amazing and it will literally transform your productivity and the amount of social media content that you can create from one video. So now you guys know I talked to you a lot about having searchable media and why it's so important. So if you're out here and you are grinding and you're making your YouTube videos, it can be tedious, it can be hard, it can be, you know, it can be a lot of work. And then on top of that, to go and edit and cut them down into little pieces that, you know, you wanna share on social media, that in and of itself is like mind draining. Um, but unless you're a good video editor, I'm not. So for me, this was such an exciting tool uh, because literally like you spend your time making the video and then you put it in there with your link and it will do all the cutting and all the captions for you. And you pop that right into Instagram, right onto your shorts um, on YouTube and you are good to go. So if you need to get out there and share your message and you have not been using YouTube because you think it's just too long of a process, this is one of those things that will completely like 10X your productivity. Once you do the actual um, recording of the video, it'll give you lots of different um, splices of that video. So they're about maybe like 30 second to one minute clips. And at the end of all of them on Opus, what they do is it will um, tell you why it chose this, what you're saying in it, you know, you can actually read what you've said in it. It will put the captions actually on the video screen so that you can just post it and you've got the video and the captions. Um, and it scores it as well. So what it does is it'll leave a score of like 99. It'll say you had great context, you had a great hook, you had a great intro. Um, you really give uh, solid information in this one. And then other ones, maybe you'll have like a 77 or a 66, and it'll tell you why it's rating it at that level. And what that allows you to do is it empowers you when you put that video up, because you know if you already have a strong hook, then when someone watches it, it should be a good video and it should perform well um, online and on your social content. So guys, this one is literally a game changer if you are a creator. And for nonprofit founders, you guys know if you've worked with me at all, you know that I think you should be a creator because that is really how you're going to get your message out there. But when you start creating, I want you to create on a, a searchable platform first, like YouTube or on your blog, on the written piece or on a podcast, something like that, um, where you can then splice it up and then use it onto your social content by optimizing it. So um, yeah, I mean, I could go on and on on this. So Opus Clip, go check it out. It's amazing. Um, and I will leave all the links down below for you guys to see. Um, but I think you're going to absolutely love, love, love adding all of these free tools, except Jasper, uh, which is $24 a month. So I was like, you know, might want to get it. It will totally transform your business. All of these things, just having some of these as your productivity, like to help your productivity and increase it, download these tools. So those are my five tips for artificial intelligence tools that will absolutely transform your business once you get them all started. Now, four of those were free, so you should definitely go sign up to get those. Um, and if you are new to my space at all and you haven't joined the Social Life Tribe, come join a tribe of fierce visionaries just like yourself who are out there unleashing their purpose, unleashing their profit, and unleashing their productivity. So until next time, I will see you. Make sure you stay fierce and get out there and unleash your something amazing. Bye guys.